Hey guys, today we're going to be learning how to play Northern Star by Hole and I'm gonna start right away and I just wanna say that I'm going to be playing like really slowly just for you to understand. So we begin from the intro. So let me show you first. So what we do is um Okay. And then when you have fingers like that on this position, what you do is just you move your fingers like this so that your um, second finger uh, appears to be on the sixth fret, the fourth string, and your third finger is on the seventh string, oh sorry, on the seventh fret, um, fifth string. So what you do is this. Okay, and then, you know, you had this position first time, so it's just the same, but here. So your first finger is on the um, uh, fifth fret, okay? And what you do is play the three strings where your finger is at. So what you have is, okay, so when you play this, then you play the 6th and 5th strings, then you go down, one string down, the 5th and the 4th strings, and then you go back up, okay? That's what you have. And the whole thing is this one. All right? <coughs> the second part of the intro, um, so you go back to this position. And what you do is the, the following. So obviously the diagrams show you where you should put your fingers and I'm just playing it one more time for you just to understand how we how you should play it. So Alright? Just like this. And then again you go back to our previous position, this one, and you play. Then you go like this, the first, second, and third strings. Then you do this, this chord. Um, <clears throat> you don't really have to play the first string. So what you do is So we have okay. Uh, so this is basically the intro, and um, what you play right before the 
refrain or the verse starts. So you have played the intro and now you play this. Well, that's very simple how you do that. You put, I, well, uh, put my second and third finger on these strings, which are shown in the diagram. And I play it like five times. Then I put my first finger on the second string, uh, the first fret. Play two times. Then we go back to E minor without this finger and play like this. So, what we have, look. All right. So our first verse starts and we play the following thing. So you have A minor. And the scheme, the, the pattern is actually the same as we previously played this thing. And then we have this. So actually the pattern, this pattern uh, is played throughout the whole verse. All right. And now we have, um, what do we have? We have A minor. Um, and what we do, we do the same thing, so I put my pinky, so I put my fourth finger on the um, second string of the third fret. So I play like five times. Again. Pinky. So you play twice when you use your pinky, just like in the previous case. So, um, and you continue, you go back to what we had before the, the, um, the verse. So you play this. this like you repeat this pattern these two chords like two chords like four three times let's let's just sing the the, the part where we play this chords okay and I cry and no one can hear in hell the blind and I just see the chaos bring the pitiful to me Even though I'm wide awake Alright, so when we begin the, the line um, Even though I'm wide awake, I will I will We have another chord So from this part, we play a bit different scheme and new chords appear. So what we have, so even though I'm wide awake, I... alright so we have this chord, C chord, um, and we have the following thing. So what we have to play is, so from the line even though I'm wide awake, Um, 
so that's what we have and then we play then we play the following here is a new thing um So you have your second finger on the second fret, sixth string. What you do is um, you actually play this string, right? The sixth string. Sorry. So you play the sixth string, and um, but you also cover the fifth string with your with your second finger, so that the fifth string has no sound all right you just look it ha it doesn't have any sound all right so that's what you play all right um so we have all right then we go back to this chord then again to this one All right. <clears throat> um, and then we have this part. You repeated it twice. All right. And um, so this where the line um, I know I cherish all my misery alone and that's where this part begins so what we have is um, pretty much the same thing as in the intro but a bit differently um, a bit different so I cherish all my misery alone. Rings a bell, right? So what we have here is um we play <clears throat> the same thing just like in the intro, but the first part of the intro. So it's like this. And then what we do, we move our position so that our first finger is on the uh, third fret. And we have, we play something like this. All right. And right after this, we go back again and repeat the whole thing again. So. So you got it and we play this part for six times six times like for the whole course and when we play the sixth time when we are at this position so oh, okay so uh, let's imagine like I'm playing this part for the sixth time for the last time and what we do after this, after this part, we play the second part of the intro, uh, which you already know, and it's like it's played like this. All right, and then again we go back here. And then again, just like before the first verse. All right, so here we play something like we begin the song again, but we actually we actually begin this, the second verse, all right? Um, yeah, so the second verse is like played like the, the first verse, then we have the same thing uh, with the chorus, saying the sixth, like, 
Same thing with the course. What we do with the second course, uh, you know, before the part where there's just a guitar playing, like there are no words. Um, so you finish playing your chorus with these strings, right? And how actually the part with no words sounds like. So it sounds like that. All right, and you repeat this thing for like for two times. So you repeat this thing for two times, and then when we begin the part with the words, and I want you, and blessed are the broken, and I beg you, you know that what we have, and what we have in this part, and I want you, and blessed are the broken. And I want you and blessed are the broken and I beg you. Alright? So you just um have the same pattern and all the chords which we play now you already know them so um alright so we have completed this part like let's do this again. All right. And when the uh, no loneliness, no misery is worth you, um, you play the following thing. And you repeat it once again. And so let's sing along it. No loneliness, no misery is worth you. Oh, tear his heart, I'll cold his eyes, it's mine. And then again, you play the same thing which you played for the chorus, you remember? And so on, and you finish this song by actually... Um, by playing the intro. By and you actually finish the song by playing the whole intro, so you have the same beginning and the same ending. So, um, when the chorus, so when the chorus finishes, you just play the intro again, which we had already played. But you just don't really have to play this part, as you wish. Actually, I would finish by playing. That's it. I would finish like this. But for those of you who don't really want to play this chorus, you know, this riff, uh, there are actually chords for the chorus and it's much easier. Um, so these chords I, are G, F, C, E, A. Alright? And if you want to play the the chorus with the chorus, so you should play like this. And I wait, staring at the northern star, I'm afraid you won't leave me anywhere. Alright? And that actually makes a song more simple. Well, actually, this riff is not that hard, but if you don't want to 
you know, spend time learning it, you can just play these easy chords for your course of this song. So it's actually it. Thank you for your attention. I hope it was useful. Bye, guys.